Hi guys, nice to see you again. Um, this is again not a cello daily exercise. Uh, the next video, I promise it's gonna be. Today I want just to show you um, a small tutorial about how to practice on intonation. This is something you know that uh, especially students struggle with. I sometimes struggle with it. But no worries, I'll show you the way how to practice on intonation. So intonation you don't practice for instance let's take Beethoven fifth symphony right you're not going to just you know play uh... and so on I mean yeah it sounded okay it sounded in tune because it's, it's in my hands this piece but okay let's say if you are the student that play sounds a little bit yeah I mean you know what I mean so what can we do about it here for instance in this section of the Beethoven right so first of all what helps a lot for intonation is articulation so if you saw my videos of cello daily exercises where I'm showing uh, exercises or the Aldulesco finger drill this is extremely important to do that's why I made this uh, cello daily exercise series so that every day this is routine routine practice that you start a day or with scales or with Feuillard these exercises that uh, I was showing before in the other videos or you can combine both you can do scales and uh, Feuillard as well but anyway it doesn't matter what matters here is that you articulate so to start with right uh, because if you don't have an articulation it becomes like this uh, it becomes spaghetti you know macaroni it becomes all like this no this is not the point articulation is very important first thing second thing how you have to practice for intonation what do you need for intonation your ears you need to hear every single note every single note you have to hear and how do you hear that not by playing forte vibrato no you practice this with in a piano so softly and uh, without any vibrato nothing so it would be like uh, ah oops see wrong so so if you okay i have this stupid wolf note here i imagine you also have this uh, on your cello but uh, you see you have to practice this really uh, articulated like that softly and slowly also in the beginning right so that you can hear every note and so that you know also memorize where your fingers have to go so you don't become so that you know you can sit free you know like Piatigorsky he always plays with the eyes closed watching there and So you see, so you start slowly and a bit by bit you adjust the tempo, you play a little bit faster. Okay, here this Beethoven, this one, it's not fast, it's just, it's fluent, right? Um, or another example I'm gonna give you, it's um, the Forêt uh, Elegy, right? So we have the... Okay, it was in tune, but let's say I will play now out of tune, you know, somebody that, you know, lacks a little bit of these uh, basic things. So it would be... Uh... I mean, of course, I'm ex 
exaggerating, of course, you know. But uh, even if there are people that are playing like this, no worries, it's easy to fix. This is very easy to fix. So, again, piano. See, already I played out of tune the first note. So, uh, what I'm gonna do... Okay, la... piano and before I start again I want to remind you that even if you play piano and articulated and slowly everything you have to play this as beautiful as possible as beautiful as possible you know so later on you can add the vibrato and then wow you know everybody will fall for you so uh because we are not used to it oops see here normally I use other fingers but you see when something happens you practice it It's not easy in the beginning you're gonna struggle a little bit because we're all used to you know but once you know you get this then you can put the vibrato and the sound everything as is written on the score you know it is yeah. feel that ah, it's more stable the intonation as you saw articulated you know I try to listen every note also and you know if you were this kind of um, a student that you know had problem with intonation no worries this is easily fixed just try at home what I just show how the way how to practice make it as most beautiful possible listen to every note memorize where your fingers go and you're gonna be fine I promise. Thanks for watching and the next video is going to be cello daily exercise number 15. See you.